in this module we'll be discussing about myopia which is otherwise called as short sightedness the person who is suffering from short sightedness will be able to see the objects which are close by or nearby but will not be able to see the objects which are at a far off distance this defect is generally seen in young age so the person is not able to see the far off object because the image is focused in front of the retina since it's not formed on the retina you don't get a clear image now what are the causes for myopia so the main causes for myopia are it is the elongation of eyeball that is the size of the eyeball is increasing and excessive curvature of the eye lens so we know that the eye lens can increase or decrease in its size depending upon the position of the object so if there is excessive curvature which means that it cannot extend beyond a certain uh, certain limit and therefore it cannot see the objects which are at a far off distance now how can it be corrected it can be corrected by using concave lens of appropriate focal length it is appropriate focal length or appropriate power because only with appropriate power you can get it you are going to see the drawing of a ray diagram for a myopic eye so now in a case of a myopic eye the person is not able to see an object which is at a far off distance so o is the maximum limit for which he is able to see so if an object is placed at o the person will be able to see the image so which means that when the object is at o the image is formed on the retina so let us draw the ray diagram for that so from o you have the ray that is going up to the convex lens that is the eye lens and from there it is falling on the retina so when an object is placed at o the image is formed on the retina so a clear image is formed on the retina now for a myopic eye if an object is placed beyond o so which means that the object is at far off distance so you get parallel rays that are coming so when you have the object which is beyond the o then in that case we have seen earlier the image is formed in front of the retina so you have the image to be formed in front of the retina so you don't get a clear image so for correcting it you use a concave lens of appropriate focal length the focal length of the concave lens is equal to the far point of the myopic eye so now when you have the object which is uh, which is at a far off distance the rays are parallel so these parallel rays what do they do they form a virtual image so it is equal the focal length of the concave lens is equal to the far point of the myopic eye so it forms a virtual image on the far point of the myopic eye that is o so o is the far point of the myopic eye and the the parallel rays or the rays from the far off distance is forming an virtual image at o this virtual image acts as a object for the eye lens so you get the rays to be moving from o to the eye lens so whenever you have the ray to be moving from the point o that is the far point where is the image being formed it is formed on the retina so when by placing a concave lens of appropriate focal length you can get the image on the retina thereby the myopic eye can be corrected